Hello dear students, good day. Welcome to the Unit 2 lecture, the Youth Development and Leadership. In the Unit 1, you have learned the overview of NSDP and its importance. Now, I'd like to request you to please comment present upon joining and make sure to listen to the lecture and participate in the questions I will be asking by typing your answers on the comment box. I will monitor your, your attendance based on your participation. I'd like to tell you guys that this uh, unit is very much important because it will help you develop your capacities as a leader and an innovator. So please uh, bring out your notes and jot down the, impor the important information I will be discussing. So here are the topics covered. Uh, there are uh, two parts of Unit 2, but I will only be discussing the first part, which is the leadership. And under it are leadership styles, elements of effective leadership, and advocates of leadership. Here are the learning outcomes. At the end of the unit, the students must have enumerated the characteristics of a leader, identified the advocates of leadership, and known his or her role as a youth in promoting development. Now guys, this is an information about the unit. So this unit focuses on youth development and leadership which is needed to acquire competencies, values, and social skills in the ever-changing world. Hence, these skills allow students to become resilient and able to bounce back from adversity. So this unit, guys, will help you be resilient and persistent and you will be able to bounce back from adversity from adversities of life so please listen now i'd like to start with a words of inspiration by warren bennis according to him leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality now i'd like you to ponder on this quote um i'd like you to think of your visions there are many types of visions kasi. Number one, the visions, your visions for your career. Number two, the vi your visions for your family. Number three, your visions in your studies. Number four, your visions for yourself. i like you to focus on number four, the visions for yourself. Please um, comment down. What do you visualize yourself to be? No. Ano yung um, gusto mong maging na pinapangarap mo? No. Do you want to be a, um, a future entrepreneur, a business tycoon, um, an ambassador, um, a politician? Mga tipong ganon. So, please comment down. Alright. So, while you guys are making comments, I would like you to take this statement seriously because we characterize that leadership starts with a vision. Everything starts with a vision. The moment you entered MMSU, I'm, I'm pretty sure um, nagkaroon kayo ng vision kung ano yung gusto nyong um, maging after you graduated, um, kung ano yung goals mo upon entering MMSU. Kung gusto mo ba maging college scholar, gusto mo maging athlete, gusto mo maging student leader, right? You know what? When I entered MMSU, that was 2011. I was only 15 when I entered college. Eh, advanced akong nag -aral. So, when I entered college, my vision was to become a student leader. Because when I was in high school, I was a shy type kind of student. Nahihiya nga akong mag ng hand during recitations. And look at me now, I am 
fond of speaking. So, never did I know na yung mahiyaing bata nung high school is now teaching. Because I was really shy. So, yun yung vision ko, to be a leader. And I was a consistent stu- to student leader. I was also an officer of the student council. So, it really happened. And it became a reality. No? So, what is vision, guys? It's a mental picture of the future. No? It's the voice inside us that guides us. No? And that voice gives us a sense of purpose. Ano pa? A vision is when an architect's an architect dreams of a new bis- or of a new building no it's when a business woman or an entrepreneur dreams of growing their business and expanding it and building branches no yun yung vision ang vision guys kailangan meron kang dreams and you have to have the passion to pursue it Your dreams must be transformed to realities, your dream, your ideas into actions because vision gives us meaning and direction to what we do. No, yun yung reason kung bakit ka nandiyan dyan eh. Ang reason bakit ka nasa entrepreneurship because you had a vision. Vision ko, tulungan yung parents ko, then turn that into reality. No, I'm sure ang dami, da- alam nyo guys, millennials and Gen Zs, ang dami nilang vision sa buhay. No, I'm sure yung mga visions nyo sa buhay, yun yung mga ambitious type of visions. Yun yung mga hindi simple lang na type of visions. Yun yung mga grand. no. So, uh, those are the characteristics of millennials and Gen Zs. When they dream, it's something that is big and grand. Right? Alright? Um, they say, guys, clarity is the key to effective leadership. Okay? Kung may vision ka, kailangan klaro yung mga uh, goals mo on making that vision a reality. No? Kunwari, um, you have a, a restaurant. You cannot say na you wanna be the richest restaurant in Ilocos Norte. You cannot say that. Kasi napaka-broad, napaka-gene- napaka-generic nung, nung vision mo. Kailangan klaro yung vision mo. Okay? You can say that I want to be the richest restaurant in Ilocos Norte by, number one, providing good customer service. Number two, innovating more products. Number three, partnering with the best suppliers. Number four, using the best advertisement. No, mga tipong ganon, no? Uh, kailangan klaro yung mga steps mo on making that vision a reality. Okay? Another example, guys. Number two, Um, academic example, uh, you wanna be a cum laude. You cannot say that because it's too broad. You can say that I wanna be cum laude by, number one, uh, practicing good study habits. Number two, um, uh, avoiding procrastination. Number three, avoiding ML. Number four, practicing the double r habit read and review habit no mga tipong ganon right so kailangan klaro ka kung ano yung gusto mong abutin okay don't you know guys that according to american business magazine clarity is your partner in having visions because it's all about clear communication and take note it provides you a map to show the direction to success no you know what, most of the successful businessmen, they would say that kailangan klaro ka sa gusto mong abutin. No? Hindi pwedeng ngayon gusto mong maging cum laude, bukas ayaw mo. The next day gusto mo mag-stop ka na lang. No? Kailangan klaro din yung ating mindset. Okay? Um, I would like to introduce to you guys um, a successful businessman. He is the richest businessman in the Philippines. And he is the owner of SM Corporation. He is Henry C. Okay, Henry C. is known as the Philippine Retail King in the Philippines. And he has a very good 
vision because he started with a clear communication. Okay? Number one, ito pala yung uh, philosophy ni Henry C. Think big, start small, and move fast. Okay. Think big. Uh, e ito yung uh, situations kung um, kung bakit siya nag-think big. He started or he visualized to have the biggest small. Yun yung think big scenario niya. I wanna build my own empire. I want to be the richest businessman in the Philippines. Yon yung think big. Number two is start small. You know what? Henry C. was not born with a golden spoon. No? He started in a small shoe store in front of Mercury Drug. No? He was an ordinary shoe boy who doesn't own SM or any corporation. So, na, andun lang siya sa tabi nung Mercury Drug, nagbebenta ng sapatos. No? Ganon siya nag-start. No? And he was at the bottom before he went uh, to top. Okay? So, he was very hardworking and persistent. Eto naman, guys, move fast. Believe it or not, Henry C. makes decisions so fast. In just an instant, gusto ko magkaroon ng banko. That's when he uh, he started with BDO. No? Sa kanya yung BDO. No? Ang, ang SM Corporation, guys, it's a conglomerate. When we say conglomerate, it's a one, uh, it, it, it is a corporation with several businesses. So, so, so si SM Corporation business niya, si BDO, si China Bank. Si Ace Hardware, ano pa, uh, si National University, no? uh, si Asia Pacific College, no? You know, you know what, uh, ganun si Henry C. Ka, ka impulsive when it comes to decisions. When it comes to decisions. Pag gusto niya, in a minute, he will do it, okay? Ang sabi nga niya, shiner niya, in the government sector, it takes one year before a decision is made. In a business, it takes time before you come up with decisions. There is a committee here and there, kunana. So, uh, makita yoti kina decisive, eh, kina impulsive ni Henry when it comes to decisions. Um, also, he always look at what may happen in five years. I visualize na anang at mapasamak in five years. You know what? He even predicted online selling. That's why he invested in Tugo. You know what to go is, you know, it's 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 a career service, right? So they transfer goods from one place to another. So na predict niya na ah, in in 5 years mauuso ang online selling. He made several researches and it happened. Right? So those are the characteristics of Henry C worth worthy of um admiration. Okay, next now, what is leadership? Guys, leadership is a process of social influence which maximizes the efforts of others towards the achievement of a goal. Right? So, that is um, a concrete definition of leadership. Pero, I guess, if I ask you what leadership is, wala kayong definite na maisasagot. Ganon din ako. Kasi, walang definite na definition ang, ang leadership. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanyang definition ng leadership. No? What is a leader to me may not be a leader to you. No? Ika nga, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Okay? What is good to me may not be good to you. No? Ganon din ang leadership. No? Even if you interview lots of CEOs, guys, around the world, and ask them to define leadership, not all answers will be alike. Hindi tayo pare-pareho ng sagot sa kung ano ang isang leader. No? Many people struggled or had to pause to think because leadership is a word we use so often without really defining. Tama? Yes, ginagamit natin, uh, Henry C. is a good leader. Pero, do we really know the definition of leadership? Right? You know what? Some CEOs define leadership as having business. 
like setting a vision or achieving goals for a company. Other people naman, they focus on human qualities like humility or empathy. Ganon. Every answer was different. No? May iba-iba tayong definition ng leadership, but all of our definitions are correct. No? Because every person has their own personal definition of leadership. Now, I would like you to comment um, a short definition of leadership. Ano sa inyo yung leadership? Okay? Please comment. There is no right or wrong answer, guys. Please comment. Right? So, while you guys are making comments, I will proceed with the next one. Okay, what leadership is not? Ano ang hindi leadership? Okay? So, ito yung mga um, four aspects na feeling natin leadership, pero hindi pala. Okay? Number one, Leadership has nothing to do with seniority. Seniority yung matagal ka na sa isang company in the hierarchy of a company. Okay? Hindi porket si ma'am ganito uh, 35 years na sa company, leader na siya. No. Some people spent so many years in the company and yet they are not a leader. They do not practice leadership. And he, But, here's another person who just spent one year and he has already been practicing leadership. Na magkaiba ang, iba po ang seniority. Okay? Leadership doesn't automatically happen also when you reach a certain uh, salary. Hindi porket mataas ang sweldo ni Ma'am Ganito is leader na siya. No. Leadership is not defined on the amount of money you have in your pocket. No, it's not like that. Number two, Leadership has nothing to do with titles. No, hindi porket president ka sa student council, uh, leader ka na. Okay? Or hindi porket president ka sa student council, hindi na pwedeng maging leader yung iba. Okay? Uh, um, I would like to re re reiterate na, yes, if you, are, if you are a student council president, yes, you are a leader, but you also have to give chance to others to become a leader as well. Hindi porket wala kang uh, position in school, hindi ka na pwedeng maging leader. No? Uh, you don't need a title to lead. In fact, no, you can be a leader in your place of choice, in your, in your neighborhood, in your church, in your family, without having a title. Okay? Number three, leadership has nothing to do with personal attributes. No? Ang leadership, hindi porket uh, Barack Obama is the president, leader na siya. Okay? Hindi porket uh, ako, charismatic ako, leader na ako. No. Hindi porket ako, marami akong pera, leader na ako. No. No? We don't need money to practice leadership. We don't need possession. We don't need charismatic traits to practice leadership. No? So, hindi natin kailangan i-connect yung personal attributes sa leadership. Okay? Number four, leadership isn't management. Okay? Leaders lead people while managers need to plan, organize, and manage things. No? So, magkaiba po sila. Okay? Anyway, guys, I'd like to reiterate my example earlier na si Barack Obama. Okay? Barack Obama is a president. He is a good leader. Alright? What I'm trying to say is that hindi porket president ka ng bansa, leader ka na. Kasi may mga president sa isang country na hindi alam magpaka leader. Right? Um, I don't personally want to put Barack Obama on 
ibad lang limelight siya lang talaga yung naisip ko ewan ko kung bakit all right uh, next guys uh, we moved on to Kurt Lewin's leadership style so according to Kurt Kurt Lewin Kurt Lewin who is a psychologist Meron daw tatlong leadership styles and he developed this framework in the 1930s. Una daw is autocratic. Uh, you make decisions without consulting team members. Uh, eto guys, um, ikaw yung leader, kailangan uh, you need to come up with a decision. Hindi mo kinoconsult yung team members mo. Okay? Ikaw na lang bahala because you are the leader, you know very well kung ano yung dapat. Okay, so ganun yung autocratic. Eto guys, ginagamit lang naman to when you need to make decisions quickly. Kung urgent na yung um, decision na yon and hindi na kailangan ng team input. Kailangan gamitin tong autocratic. But during big events, kailangan naman i-consult natin yung team members, right? So that they could also feel that they belong to that company. No? Ang downfall ng autocratic is it results to high level of absenteeism and employee turnover. Siyempre, mafe-feel mo na ito si boss ko, andi dito ako, but he doesn't consult me. He doesn't honor my um, my opinion. Parang useless ako dito. Diba? Mafe-feel yun ako tika si Jai. Kasalang kumamit in a group. Okay, adati leader mo, si kati member, tapos ag- ag uh, uh, decide lata ni leader and without consulting the members parang ma-feel mo nga ana pay ti um usar mi ditoy eh, as members mo no isisin na kami lata ano kaslang sin zone day jay eh. so ganun din ang autocratic no parang ma demoralize ang isang member Okay, number two guys, democratic. It includes team members in the decision-making process. Ito naman, it encourages creativity and engagement. No, When a leader includes his members in the decision-making, when he gathers his members, it feels like, ah, I belong. Ah, ino-honor ni boss yung opinion ko. Nagmamatter din pala yung opinion ko. So, it results to job satisfaction. Right? Number three, guys, lies is fair. It's when leaders give their time members a lot of freedom to work. No? Ang ibig sabihin nito, leaders will instruct you with something to do and then makamukan nga agubra. Discaratemon anat ubraemon. No? Leaders only provide support to you but they don't get involved. No? Kasalang kumamit um, project, right? I'm like a license fair because I will be giving you a task to do and then you have to do it na on your own. Kasi no siya pelat agubra, I'm not a teacher anymore, I'm a student, right? So I am a license fair because I only provide support and instruction but I don't get involved with what you do, okay? So ganon ang iba't ibang leadership styles. Now, maalayo, autocratic, democratic, and license fair. Right? Are we good, guys? Next, path goal leadership style. Ito naman, guys, path goal is a theory based on specifying a leader's style or behavior that best fits the employee and work environment in order to achieve a goal. So, path goal was developed by Robert House. Sabi niya, as a manager, you will design a path for employees to achieve the goals of the company. Kasi di path goal, ayan. So, Ang path is the design that you will create in order to achieve a goal. So, makita yung data ni employee, example, the characteristics ni employee get locus of control. What is locus of control? So, locus of control, guys, is when, when an employee feels helpless. No? Now, when you feel helpless, si employer magde-design ng path in order for you to not feel helpless, in order for you to become a better version of yourselves and achieve the goals of the company. So, ni path is to develop ni employer, kasi ako masikada locus of control mo, 
Di i-design ko nga path mo is trainings, ano pa, counseling, no, job enrichment, ganon. Para, uh, while you are on that path, you will now achieve the goals of your, of the company and your own goals, no. Kasi iti path goal, leadership theory, no. Kasalang kumakada kayo, guys, you are, um, experiencing, um, an unstable internet connection. Di path ko no kakada kayon is free, free load, uh, considerations, or ibas-basit ko ti requirements, kas jay no katipat. Okay? Next, guys, naawatan yung metlaeng. Okay, any questions? Now, there are four styles of path goal. Una, the directive path goal, achievement-oriented, participative and supportive leader behavior. Okay? So, uh, basahin nyo lahat tan, no, ano di gitoy, directive path goal, I will make it short, it refers to, to situations where the leader lets employee know what is expected of them. Number two, achievement, refers to situation where the leader sets challenging goals for employees. Number three, the participative leader involves leaders consulting with employees and asking for their suggestions. Number four, the supportive leader behavior is directed towards the satisfaction of employees' needs and preferences. Now, you may be asking, no kaano nga mausar na nga styles? Okay, ayan. Kailan, kailan siya pwedeng gamitin? For directive, it helps workers cope with unclear job responsibilities. Kapag ka, hindi klaro sa'yo yung mga ginagawa mo, yo, gagamitin mo tong directive. Pagka-achievement naman, kapag ka yung staff, feeling niya bored siya or feeling niya hindi challenging yung ginagawa niya. Okay, participative naman, kapag ka yung follower mo, uh, nagde-decision siya poorly, hindi niya iniisip yung options. No? Uh, and supportive is useful with a team that is new, yung mga bago, and walang masyadong experience or walang masyadong confidence. No? In conclusion, guys, the path goal theory is useful because it reminds leaders that their central purpose is to help employees define and reach their goals in an efficient manner. Ti path goal nga min kaslang kas lang role ti manager nga i-develop na ni employee and i-identify na no ana digi problems na ana digi issues na tapno ma-design na digi path na. Right? Uh in the university, guys, in MMSU, adami tikas lang path goal me. But this is called as the University Personnel Development Plan. Dakamit agibaga no anati plano me. Okay, dakamit agibaga no anati. Masapol mi pai as employees. No? Hanga ni employer timang identify. Dakami mismo timang identify. Okay, kasi iti path goal me. And then, uh, we will submit the document and then the university will see no anat mabalinda nga maubra. No, iba kami nga masapol mi pa iti training, then mabalinda nga agi-provide kanya mi ti training. Right? Okay, da kayo guys, alam iti path goal yo. Ayan, kuna na ito ay, The great man theory of leadership states that excellent leaders are born not developed. Mamati kayo. Do you agree that leaders are born not made? Totoo ba ito? No? This theory states that leadership is an inherent quality. Ang leadership daw na mamana. Kapag ka magaling yung nanay mo, presidente yung nanay mo, presidente ka din. Or mamamana mo yung mga qualities niya as president. No? This type of leader often possesses that natural attributes of intelligence, uh, natural daw ang courage mo, natural yung confidence mo, ganon. Now guys, do you agree that leaders are born not made? Yes or no? Do you agree that leaders are born not made? Yes or no? 
Ala, answer kay lang yes or no without explanation. Yes or no? Alright, whether born or made, each person has what it takes to be a leader by following the elements of effective leadership which we shall discuss on the next slides. Okay? Elements of effective leadership that no one is talking about. Ito hindi to pinag-uusapan. Okay? To introduce this element, consider the impression you get when reading the list of words. Challenge and failure, disagreement, risk, and underperforming employee. Ano yung naiisip nyo kapag ka mga bagay na to ang naririnig ninyo? Challenge, uh, failure. So, kapag ka-challenge ba ang naiisip nyo, you automatically um, think of negative things. Pagka-failure ba, nanghihi, nangihina kayo? No? You know what? Kapag ka-challenge naman, May mga iba ba dyan na na-excite? Right? Now, leaders perceive each of these things differently. Some see challenge as things to avoid, while others see it as opportunities to learn and grow. Sino dito ang you see challenge as things to avoid? Can you um, comment thumbs up? Kapag ka you see challenge as things to avoid, can you comment thumbs up? Can you also comment heart kapag ka you see challenge as opportunities to grow? Comment like kapag ka challenge, things to avoid, heart naman pag you see it as opportunity. All right. Now, disagreement naman. Some see disagreement as a threat, while see while others see it as an opportunity to improve their thinking. Now, iba-iba kasi tayo ng mindset on these things. Ako personally, I am an advocate of failure because I myself failed so many times, countless times. But I stood up. I may fall seven times. But I will stood up eight times and even more than that. Because I believe that failure is what makes us grow. Talaga. It's experience that makes us grow. No? With failure, you get to know yourself better and you will learn from your mistakes. No? Failure makes us rethink and find new ways to achieve our goals. You know what? I may I had lots of failures. Uh, number one, I won't forget it when I applied three times at DepEd, um, and then I got rejected for three times because I didn't had that enough experience. So I consider that as a failure because hindi ako nag exert ng so much effort on trainings. So, what I did was, I had um, attended trainings, and I read so many books on interviews, on recruitment, on things that I could do to make myself better. Then, I applied in MMSU for the first time, and I got hired. Okay, so I never, now I never considered failure as a thing to be afraid of. Now it's actually an opportunity for me to grow. And even if I fail now, I won't be afraid because I know that I can, I will always uh, stand up and be fiercer and even stronger. No? So, next guys, now, what sets up 
part a great leader from, from an average or poor leader? The simple answer is how they see the world they operate in. The technical answer is mindset. Now, napaka-importante ng mindset, guys, because these are mental frames that create a lens through which they organize information and understand experiences and guide them in corresponding actions and responses. So, meron tayong uh, apat na aspects ng mindsets that I want to introduce. Napaka-importante ng mindset. The first thing that we do in the morning is think, right? The last thing that we do is think also. So, kailangan i-program mo yung mindset mo to think on the bright side of life, to think effectively and efficiently, Right? Now, ayan, unang set is fix and growth mindset. No? Leaders with a growth mindset see challenges and failure as opportunities to learn and develop. Ano ang difference ng fix and growth mindset? You know what guys, ang fix mindset, ang priority nila is looking good and validation. They need to be validated because they do not believe that they can improve. Ay, hindi sila naniniwala na mag improve sila. So, it's very important for them to possess a high degree of talent and ability. No? So, ayaw, nilang, ayaw nila ng challenges, ayaw nila ng failure. No? Kasi gusto nila, they always look good, they are always validated. Ganun ang fixed mindset. Ang, ang, ang mindset nila, hindi na mababago ang kanilang talent. Hindi na sila mag improve no Ang growth mindset naman, they believe that they are able to change their talents and abilities. And they are still uh, a work in progress. Ganon ang growth mindset. No? Growth mindset, guys, they are not concerned about their appearance. Because their priority is to learn and grow and to be challenged and allow failure to embrace them. Okay? So number two, guys, are we good? Open and closed mindset. So leaders with an open mindset seek out new and different perspectives. Ang closed mindset, guys, they are not open to the ideas of others. And sila yung mga tao na feeling nila sila lagi yung tama. Yun yung closed mindset. Kapag ka may suggestion yung team member, they do not honor it. No? Wala silang pake. Basta yung gusto ko, yun yung uh, masusunod. Ganon yun. Open mindset naman. They are open to the ideas of others. And they are willing to take those ideas seriously while being open to the possibility that they could be wrong. Ang mga open mind uh, open mindset, ina-acknowledge nila na ah, ah may mali ako. Okay, may mali ako at itatama ko ito. No, napakaganda, napakagandang kasama ng ganong tao. Because they admit their mistakes and they are willing to take the opinions of others. Right? Another example, guys. This is uh, a good example. Uh, close mindset, they are focused on being right and being seen as being right. Gusto nila... Um, Tama sila at gusto nila na tignan sila ng tao in a right way. Gusto nila na ang, pers- na ang perception ng tao is sila yung tama. No? At kapag ka magsisik man sila ng ideas from others, they only seek the ideas that has the same perspective as theirs. Mag-aagree lang sila sa iyo kapag pareho kayo ng perspective. Pero pag hindi kayo magkapareho, they will not honor it. Right? May kilala ba kayong close mindset? Okay, teach them to be open. Okay, number three guys is prevention and promotion mindsets. Leaders with a promotion mindset are focused on winning and gains, while leaders with a prevention mindset are focused on not losing and avoiding problems.